All right, what's up, everybody? I'm doing a phone collection today. So this is pretty big compared to the last video I ever did on this. So I guess we'll go ahead and get started with the Samsungs. This is a pretty recent one for me. I got a Z Flip 3. This thing works, but it has a small black dot. Otherwise, it's working. I got it for 60 bucks on eBay, which is pretty good. Here's a Fold 3. This thing is completely destroyed from me. It has a bad back, a bad front screen, and the inner screen doesn't want to work most of the time, which is how it came, but I broke the front and the back on accident. And then next up, we had this S21. This one I actually found in an AT&T bin. I put my hand in, took this out, and I saw the back, and then I ran, and then I saw the front. Yeah, it's completely destroyed. The back, you can see everything inside. Um, it Supposedly, it might show life because it works on a wireless charger. Like, the light shows up, but otherwise it doesn't work. Next, we have this S20. This used to be my friend's old phone, and then he cracked it, and then now it's mine. And unfortunately, I don't know if it'll turn on right now, but it doesn't have any touch above this green line right here, so it's kind of useless. This is my old main phone. It's a Galaxy S10. It's cracked right here, and it has lines and black spots and stuff. It doesn't work anymore, really. Um, another recent pickup, I have this S10e demo unit. This thing actually works fine. Except it's a demo unit, so I can't really use it as a main phone. Here we have another one of my old main phones. It's an S9. I think I just charged it up. Um, this one has a long story. I cracked the back on it, and then I got, like a couple years later, I got an 11 Pro. I brought this to school again. Someone took it and jumped on it and shattered the screen. So then I found a screen at a repair shop that had a black dot in it, and I got that, and now it works again with the black dot. But it's a tiny black dot, and I don't really care. So here we have S7s. I have this S7 Edge that somehow it does work completely fine. As you can see, it's fully working. Playing Geometry Dash. It's completely shattered, missing a back. The wireless charger doesn't work. It's it's a good one. Here we have the regular S7s. This thing is in basically, it's not clean, but it's in mint condition other than the home button. And it has a slight screen burn of someone playing solitaire on it. But otherwise, fully working S7. Above it is the first S7 I ever had, and it still doesn't work. It has static on half the screen, which is a motherboard issue, and I never went to fix it, and the battery fell out and ripped the cable. Here we have this S6. I got it really cheap at a phone repair store. It had a bad screen, like completely AMOLED shot everything. Someone on a Discord server I'm in had a screen, and they traded it to me with another trade for free, and that screen actually ended up working completely fine. I don't know if it'll... Yep, it will. So this thing is a... My, that was my favorite color, S6. Fully working S6 that I ended up getting for really cheap. Here we have my S5s. I have two blacks and one white. One of the black ones needs software because it doesn't have any right now and it's just on a weird screen. The other two completely work and one of these is modded. I forget which. I think it's the white one. Here's an unlocked S4. This thing's completely work. Oh, <laughs> unlocked S4 completely working. Pretty good shape. Here's another phone that needs software. This S4 does not have any, and it's cracked in three places because I was going to drop test it, and then I changed my mind. Um, the S3 here, it used to not be cracked, and then it fell on my floor, and it cracked. Still works. I had to replace the battery. Moving on to the Note series, I have this Note 8 Orchid Gray. Unfortunately, it does have pretty bad screen burn. I don't know if it'll turn on now. But as you can see, it's cracked front and back. The back was for me, the front was not. The battery expanded while I was on vacation with it. And I tried to push it back down because I didn't realize it was the battery somehow, and it cracked the back. Here's my Note 5. I got it for 40 bucks a couple years back. It works completely fine, no image burn, nothing. Maybe it won't now. Um, and I had to replace the battery because the battery lasted like 10 minutes. But otherwise, it fully works. It was like a $6 battery. This is my Note 2. It is in basically mint condition. It has fingerprints, obviously, but under that, it's mint condition. It's missing a back cover, otherwise fully working, and that battery will hold a charge for like a week. So the A-series phones, I have an A21 right here. It works completely fine, but it's cracked. We have this one that I don't really care enough about to realize what model it is. It doesn't show any signs of life, and I think it's an A20 right here. I got it from a friend at school. He cracked the back on it, and now it's Google locked from him resetting it. And every time the screen goes black, it won't turn back on until the battery runs out. So whatever. It's a piece of crap. J series. I have one of the original J7s. It's cracked, but otherwise working. Here's an AT&T. 
J3, it has one crack and it's fully working otherwise. J3, J3 Emerge, fully working, just needs a back cover. I believe this is a J2, it's cracked at the bottom, but otherwise working. And then this is a J1, but it's a Galaxy Luna, is what it's called. This one works completely fine. It's actually got a pretty nice screen for a phone that size. So here's the LG stuff. I have a Stylo 6 in that cool color. It works fine. It's got a screen protector because I use it every now and then. My G Flex 2, I actually got this thing in the box for like $60 a couple years ago, which was a really good deal. It still kind of is. It's in pretty good shape still. This is my G6. It works fine, but I don't know if you can tell. There's no front camera in it. I got that one from a phone repair shop. I got a bunch of these from a phone repair shop. Here's my G3. I got this one from the same friend as the S10e. This thing works completely fine. It's just a little bit of a weak battery, so I don't really get to use it much, but it has a really nice screen for its age. Here is a Stylo 4. It works fine. I got this one in the Staples bin when they actually had the big one in the very front. Me and my friend walked in and got this, and some LG. He kept the LG. I kept this. Actually, they're both LG, but... Scratch on the fingerprint scanner doesn't affect it at all. And under the screen protector, it's mint. Stylo Original, it has a bad charging port. It might be Google locked and it might have bad software. I don't know. I haven't really got it on enough to test it and I really don't care. LGK something, I don't really remember and I smashed it because it was missing all these parts on the back. Like I didn't do this. This is how it came. All right, next row down, we have this weird LG that I don't even know what it is. I'm pretty sure I got that one in the target bin. This one's an LG Leon. I, my friend had one and I thought it was cool, so I bought one. It works. This is a, an LG Optimus Zone 2. I forget where me and my friend got it, but it was the same friend as this. So, whatever. It works fine, but it's too small to do anything. Here's just those, some of the garbage, really common LGs. I don't know what they are. Um, this one, <laughs> long story, I took this one into the pool with me for like an hour and a half and it still works sometimes, so I kept it because of that. Um, this one's just laying up here. I'm not really sure what this one is. I forget. It does work, but whatever here's a blue one that's really similar to this one it's working fine i think it's no it's just scratch it's not cracked then we have this one i really like the back design because if you put it in the light it changes but it doesn't work unfortunately so those are my lgs i have some two google pixels i have a pixel 3 and a pixel 2 the 3 is cracked and the 2 is missing a sim tray but otherwise they're both fully working and i use them every now and then especially the 3 because it works on my network which is t-mobile Motorola, I have a G7 Power, it's fully working, has that single crack down the middle of the screen and no fingerprint reader, but otherwise it works. We have a Nexus, I, want, I don't remember for some reason, I think it's a Nexus 5. I got this one out of the Target bin. The same day, my friend pulled out a Mint Gold S7 and some other phone, but I forget. Oh, it was an S5, we got an um, S5 out of there. But it has, unfortunately, a crack at the top, otherwise it's completely working, good battery life, everything. Moto E6. I got this one for $7.50 at a local thrift store, so that's pretty cool. It's in really good shape. It was alongside a J3. My friend bought the J3. I bought this. Here's a... I don't remember these two, honestly. I'm pretty sure this is an E4 and an E5. They're both shattered, like front on and back on this one. They both work fine, though, so whatever. Let me have this droid. I forget which one it is, but this one really is actually really cool. Nice screen, too. So that one's pretty cool. I like all the red on it. So down here we have my HTCs. They have four Evo 3Ds for some reason. My friend bought a lot of seven and I end up with four of them. He ended up with three. So these things all work. I really don't care about them though. So I'm probably going to end up trading a couple of them away. This one I got from my uncle. It's a Shift 4G, Evo Shift 4G. And it has some water damage in the screen, but otherwise working. We have a single cool pad down here. I think it's called a cool pad legacy. This thing works fine. It's actually a pretty big phone. It reminds me of the Note 8 a lot, which is kind of cool. I think it has face ID. Not face idea, but facial recognition. ZTE, I don't know the name of any of these except for the blade because it's printed on the back. This one has a shattered screen. This one is fine. This one is missing a chin right here, but otherwise it's fine. And this one's fine. So those are all pretty useless because they're all ZTE. But moving on, we have all these random brand phones that I didn't know where to put because it's the only one of their kind. This is a Casio G-Zone or GZ1, whatever you want to call it, Commando. Works fully. It was like $20 on eBay a while back, so I got it. We have this Kyocera. I had no idea what it is, but it works. It's on Android 2. Hey, TCL, my friend pulled it out of the Target bin and I traded him for it for some reason. Uh, it works, but it's kind of crappy. We have this thing. It's called a new something. It barely ever wants to turn on, but when it does, it works. This is a Blue View 3. Got this one as an ad and a trade from a Discord server. Works fine, but I don't have any reason to be using it, so... 
Next up, we have this UMX phone. It works fine. I have no idea where I got it from, but it works. Also useless. This one has the skin off of an iPhone 11 Pro because I hate this thing. Um, my friend, I think this was found in a dumpster by someone, and somehow me and my friend ended up with it, and I got it. This is a Wiko or Wiko, I'm not sure. It's Google locked, and I haven't bothered fixing it because it's a cheap Android. This is, I'm sorry, this is a Maze Speed. No idea what it is. It looks like a fake S or um, iPhone 7 Plus, but it works. It's an Android, obviously. Alcatel something. It was Google locked, but Alcatel sucks for security, so I bypassed it in about two minutes, and now it works, and I hate it, so <laughs> I never use it. This one's kind of cool. It's an Asus. I believe I charged it. Yep. All right. So this one's cracked, and unfortunately, it's cracked on the back too somehow. Someone ripped out this like around the speaker grill. But AT&T, it works fine. It's actually a pretty cool phone. Moving on to some of the better stuff, I have the highest variant of a OnePlus 7T Pro. This is the McLaren edition. I use this thing all the time. It's actually really nice still. Yes, I wash a neutral D. <laughs> um, anyways, it works fine. I accidentally cracked the back of it because I didn't have a case for as long as I've owned it. Otherwise, it's fine. I've scratched up the screen because it was my main phone for a long time. Here is a Nokia. I don't know what it is because I never use it. It works fine. I'm not sure if it's charged. It's not right now. Oh, yeah, it is. Okay. So this is a Nokia. It's basically mint condition. It was in the box, but it has cracked. So I guess someone probably just took it out of the box and dropped it, unfortunately. Anyways, it works. Here we have an X a Sony Xperia 10 Plus. I got this one on Discord. I forget what I traded for it. I think I traded some iPods. It came with the case screen protector. The case screen protector has cracked since, but this thing works fine. It has a little bit of yellowing like they do at the bottom of the screen, unfortunately, but otherwise it is working. So that's all the Androids. This is the dumb phones that I have. I have a BlackBerry Curve, I think, or maybe it's a Bold. A BlackBerry Bold. I have a BlackBerry something. I put this dumb clicker thing on it. Um, Samsung's. I don't know the name of any of these things. Just sorry for that, but I have this thing. I found it in the Target bin. This one, this one, and this one. This one's actually really cool. It can flip open the normal way, or it can flip open like this. And when you do, some of these keys are kind of like a Kindle Fire. I forget what the screens are called, but they can shift and turn into whatever key you need next. So that thing's pretty cool. These are all my LGs. This one's a slider, I think. Yep. All right, so that's a slider phone. This is a slider phone. This is my mom's original flip phone. She had one of these. It wasn't this one because hers went through the washing machine, but I like those because of that. This one, I don't know. It's cool blue, though. This is my grandpa's old one. This one, I don't know where it came from. And then you also have Motorola's over here. Of course, you have to have a razor. I don't remember exactly which one this is, but at least I have one. Purple, don't know the model, obviously, but it's pretty cool looking. And then I have a silver one similar to it. We have all these garbage ones. They're huge and they're modern, so they have 4G, most of them. But I don't really care about them, and I don't know if they still work. This one, a keyboard fell on and it cracked, unfortunately. This one, I know it works because it's a jitterbug, and I think they're funny. Um, this was my dad's replacement phone, but he never ended up using it, so I got it. And this is just some random at and I found. So the last thing to go over is the iPhones, which obviously is probably the biggest part of my collection. So starting off, we have my, basically my main phone right here is an iPhone 13. I'm not using it right now because I wanted to try Samsung again, so I've been using this Flip. And then I also forgot to mention, if you might be able to see it in reflection, I do have a S20 Ultra. That's what I'm filming on right now. It has a cracked screen, unfortunately, and has some lines, so I'll probably replace it eventually. We have my 11 Pro. That thing used to be my main phone before I got the 13. That was after the S9. And I dropped it like three times. I cracked the screen every time, and the last time it just killed the motherboard, I think. So, unfortunately, it's dead right now. 10R was the replacement in between those two, and I took the screen off to test another 10R that I got really cheap, and I unfortunately broke it, so I replaced it, and then that replacement had a dead LCD, so I just kept it, and I don't really care. But it works. It's my main phone, or secondary phone sometimes. This one's here because it has an SE2 motherboard that's iCloud locked, and the screen is broken and the back is broken. That's just the parts phone. This is a SE2 that I got really cheap, like $10. It works, but it has this crack in the screen, and it eventually makes the screen flicker for some reason, so I don't really use it much. Plus, it's on track phone, and I use T-Mobile. This is an unlocked iPhone 10 Space Gray. It works fine. I got it really cheap from the phone store again, but it just died. Um, that thing is weird. It'll work for like a week, and then for some reason, it'll have another week where it freezes up, and you have to restart the phone like three times a day, so I don't really use it much anymore. Next to it is a... I guess they called it silver for some reason, but this thing works fine. The screen is glitchy unless you touch it first. It has a ghost touch, but it goes away as soon as you touch it. 
and a face ID. I killed it on accident when I was swapping screens. So unfortunately that thing's kind of dead. My third iPhone 10, this has no power, no back glass, and the screen has a bunch of lines. So this thing is just garbage. It's parts phone. 8 Plus, this one doesn't have a screen, but it does work sometimes. The charging port's weird and I haven't bothered fixing it. This one, it might look like it doesn't, but it does fully work, except it doesn't have a screen again. And I mean, it's falling apart, so I just don't use it. This is unfortunately my best iPhone 8 Plus. It's a product red, it works, but I killed the home button on accident and it's blacklisted and it has a white screen with cracks. This was my old main phone. It's an, another main phone of mine. It was an iPhone 8 that I put into an SE2 or 3, SE3 housing actually. And it worked until I broke the screen. And then next to it is another iPhone 8 missing a screen because the screen broke again. And these two both also don't have screens, they're broken too. So moving on to the 7s, I have a rose gold 7 plus. This thing is in minute condition almost, except the home button will not work, unfortunately, because my friend ripped it when he had it. Three black ones, they are all missing screens in various parts, and one of them is iCloud locked. This one is also iCloud locked and doesn't have a screen, so most of those are garbage. Regular 7s, this one works. It needs a screen because the home button won't work, but it's because of the screen, not the actual button. Otherwise, it's fully working. This is a 256 gigabyte Product Red iPhone 7. It works fine. It's actually on T-Mobile, so I use it a lot. This is a Jet Black. It's missing a screen. All of these right here are missing screens, but all of these work. They're just missing screens and home buttons, so I don't really want to fix them because they don't have home buttons. It's useless to me. SEs, original SEs. I have a Rose Gold 16 gigabyte, 128 gigabyte Silver, and this one's iCloud locked, and I really don't know what it is because it doesn't have a screen. But these two both work fine. 6S Plus, which is my least favorite iPhone because I've had all of these and none of them work. So all these have screens, but I have them off right now because I always swap them and try to fix them. But they are all iCloud locked. So I don't know what to do with them. This one came with all these stickers on it. Unfortunately, even though it's not iCloud locked, the screen, or actually the motherboard has an issue where the backlight will not work. So it's dead. This one's iCloud locked, otherwise it's fine. And this one... I got for free from that phone repair shop, I guess because I go in there so much. It works fine other than that, which half of it I caused because an iPad fell off my bed onto it and it cracked this screen up here. Up here was before. But this thing works fine. It's actually got a decent battery even though it's at one right now. I just never use it. I need to buy a screen replacement. Otherwise it works. Regular sixes, I have three six pluses and these two work. One of them is weird with the battery and one of them doesn't have a home button. This one's iCloud locked. For regular 6s, I have this one which is iCloud locked, this one which is iCloud locked and does not have a screen, and then these three. This is a 128 gigabyte silver that I restored with a new screen and it works fine, new battery. This one is actually on iOS 10, but I need to buy a screen for it because this one is an aftermarket and it's really bad quality and it cracked. And then this one my grandpa gave me, it was his old phone. It is kind of weirdly cracked all over in the corners, but never bad. So I'm not going to replace the screen, but it does work fine, and I use it as a loaner phone in case my dad breaks his sometimes. 5S's, I have three of them. This one, it works completely fine, but it's iCloud locked, even though it's just reset. Like, it's actually just reset. I have no idea whose iCloud it's on. I got it from the phone pair place. So I might drop test that. I'm not sure since the screen has LCD bleed, or not LCD, but the backlight bleeds. This one is also iCloud locked. It doesn't have a screen or a battery. And this one was my old phone. I bought it for $40 on eBay back in like 2018 with a cracked screen, but it turned out it was just a screen protector. So I took the screen protector off, and then I cracked that screen, and then I replaced the screen and the battery. And now it's a really nice 5S with an OtterBox case, which means I actually care about it. Um, 5Cs. I got three green ones. One of them works fine. I believe it's this one. That one works fine. This one has an iCloud lock and a cracked screen. And actually, this is the good one. This one has backlight issues. This one works completely fine, and I got it for $6 on eBay, and it was supposed to have a bunch of bad stuff wrong with it, like the speaker, the screen, and it all worked. So I just got basically a free $6 5C. This is my only blue one. It has a cracked screen, and it's iCloud locked, but it doesn't have a password, and I've tried to contact the people. They will not remove it, unfortunately. White ones, one of these was my dad's old one. It was this one, and I accidentally broke the motherboard because I swapped the screen so many times. This one was my dad's employees. He gave it to me when he upgraded to an iPhone 10. And this one, I don't remember where I got it from, but it does not work, unfortunately. 
Moving on, we have two iPhone 5s. Both of these work completely fine. I think I got them both from the phone repair store. This one's a slate, which is my favorite color, and silver. So if you couldn't tell already, I really like iPhone 4s and 4s's. This was actually my first phone I ever owned. So I have a connection to them, I guess. This was actually the phone right here. I don't have it charged right now, but it, um, I accidentally cracked it when I was a kid. So I've never replaced the screen because it stands out as my original. So that one works fine. I replaced the battery in it a couple times because I love keeping that thing going. I have a bunch of my old apps on it. It's really cool. We have one, two, we have a ton of iPhone 4S's in black. This one is shattered horribly and these are not, all of them work. Every single 4 is not iCloud Lock somehow or, and 4S. These two are both good and that's all the 4S's. They all work. I think one of them is on iOS 6. Actually, no. The one that's on iOS 6 is one of these original 4s. So I have all of these regular 4s. This one has a cracked screen. This one has a slight crack above the camera on the back. Nothing on the screen. That's just... That one's cracked, and that one's not, actually. Um. Anyway, so I have two cracked white ones, regular 4s, and then all the rest are good to go. I have, for regular black 4s, this one's good. It has a case on it. This one's cracked... This one's cracked. This one is on iOS 6, which is pretty cool. I'm not sure if any of these are charged. I think some of them are. Yeah, actually, this is the one that's on iOS 6. So as you can see here, I don't know if my high cloud's on it. Nope. So you go in here. It is on iOS 6.1.2, which is really cool. Then you have these over here. I believe I charged a bunch of these. Maybe not. All right, so this one is also on iOS 6. So both of my iOS 6 ones are cracked, unfortunately. I might swap them to a good screen. This one works fine. I got it from one of my friend's mom. So all of those work. Some of them are cracked. Moving on to Iowa, iPhone iPhone 3GSs. I got this white one that my friend got me for Christmas a couple years back. I actually modded it with a white screen from someone on Discord. It's scratched, but it's really cool looking. I love the white on white. This one I asked I got from that same guy. It's got a custom blue back. The SIM tray of it is in this one for some reason, and this one doesn't have a SIM tray, so I might just swap it back. But it works fine. I think it's on iOS 5, which is kind of cool. These three... This one works fine. This one has a missing screen. Otherwise, it works. And this one's here. We got this one. I think it works. Yep, it works. So that one's pretty nice. We have regular 3Gs. This one is also missing a screen. This one and this one, they both work. I don't know if they're charged currently. They are not. But those two do both work. And then last but not least, we have these two iPhone 2Gs. This one I got for $20 with an iPod mini second gen. So that was a really good deal and it works completely fine. And this one I got for Christmas one year because I asked for it. And it was the only phone that I was missing really. So that's all my phones. It's a pretty big collection. I don't know why I have this many and I'm probably planning on getting rid of some. If you guys like this type of content, I'll make another one in maybe a few months if this changes enough or maybe I'll make a yearly thing. Just let me know in the comments what you guys think about all this. I could also do an iPod collection because I got like 60 of those things. If you want to see that, let me know. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.